making this video for one reason and one reason only. There seems to be a lot of hatred going around during the Russo-Ukrainian war. And I find this bad. Do you know why? Because hatred inevitably leads to war crimes. And it's not just one side or the other. It's both sides. Both sides are acting atrociously. If you're a pro-Russian, you think the Ukrainian army is filled with Nazis. If you're pro-Ukrainian, you call the Russians orcs. That is actually disgraceful. And I understand why the Russians would call the Ukrainians Nazis after all that are Nazis. But I will counter that and say the reason why they were Nazis is because the Soviet Union killed millions and millions of people. Then the Germans occupied Ukraine. So in World War One, yeah. So in World War one the Soviet, the Russian the R Germans came in to take Ukraine like put up a a, a a government that was friendly to the right Germans and pretty much in exchange for a whole all the wheat they could get because they were being starved to death by the evil British and then of course the Germans lost World War One. Because of the evil SDP. And then the Bolsheviks took over. And then what's this? Years later. After a terrible famine. And the Germans are coming back. To push out the Soviets. Who had killed millions and millions of Ukrainians. And then of course they got pushed back. Back to Soviet. Now of course Khrushchev gave them the Ukrainians Crimea. Of course, you could say that is because he was from Crimea, not Crimea, Ukraine. But on the other hand, the Ukrainians deserved it after all the bad the Soviet Union had done. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's why there's Nazis, and apparently they're not really into hating Jews, they're more into hating Russians, okay? So it pretty much shows Nazis called Chechens orcs. And in response, instead of calling that racist, they tried to cover it for its racist and start calling Russians orcs, which is absolutely disgraceful. Like, it's worse than calling the Ukrainians Nazis. And the Ukrainians are not Nazis. But I think what's going to happen now is because everyone's calling the Russians orcs, it's caused hatred and stuff. It's just filled with hatred and stuff. Yeah, you get the idea. The Russians are going to be pissed, angry, but the Russians are reserved. I think they'll be reserved and they'll keep what they've got now, maybe, except making more advances in Donbass. So pretty much, yeah. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, I think the Nazis are going to become more powerful. Yeah. It's inevitable. Before the war, they, I'd say they were fairly powerful in the military. And in certain regional, local governments, they might have had some sort of minor power for a short while. But besides... That I think they will soon have power on the national level and stuff because, well, they're war heroes and it seems they've got good social media, like, they're good at social media pretty much. So, yeah, expect Nazis to become a thing now in Ukraine. Of course, if Putin didn't want Nazis in Ukraine, he wouldn't have invaded. But, yeah, he, if you ask me, he should have just invaded Donbass. And be more respectful. And for, instead of focusing on Nazis and stuff, the Russians should have been should be focusing more on the language laws. Because I think that's more relatable, pointing but now nah, they've gone to the Nazi thing, which is untrue, mostly. 
So yeah, this has been a mini rant about how both sides are in hatred bubbles and think they're winning and stuff when in reality it's just a frozen front line and if the, this continues it's I'll just call it a Russian victory, okay? I don't think the Ukrainians will be able to make good advances any time soon. So yeah. I think Zelensky in the first week should have taken the Russian peace officer offer because that, but now they've invested too much lives into the conflict it's filled with hatred and stuff so yeah that is all